okay, good morning in the previous class you all saw the video of this to show that starch is formed in green leaves the starch has uh, the starch is formed in the green leaves you all saw that video take a leaf from a plant that has been exposed to sunlight for several hours take a one leaf green leaves and exposes to the sunlight so that in the several hours so that you can see the changes in that leaves it has been dried a little bit and it is possible to perform the above test for the search starch on a green color so this is to this is possible it is possible to perform the above test for the starch of the green color so if you want to do the experiment about uh, the starch so you have to remove this chlorophyll on the green leaves so to see the changes color the leaf has to be bleached first the leaf has to be bleached this color should should be gone that is the chlorophyll has to be removed from the leaves this is called chlorophyll the green color on the leaves you can see the green color that is called as a chlorophyll is removed this to be done first by boiling the leaf in water first you have to uh, put the leaf on the boiling water then in alcohol which dissolved chlorophyll so after us remove that from the uh, boiling water and leaf should be boiled in alcohol so that after uh, taking out of uh, this boiling water you can see that the totally the leaf has been bleached the chlor the totally removed of the uh, you can see the, the chlorophyll is removed from the leaf this is called bleaching then wash the leaves in cold water take out the leaves from out of this alcohol and wash it place the bleaching leaf in a white saucer white saucer and pour a few drops of iodine solution on the leaves what do you observe question mark what do you observe in that after uh, uh, testing with the iodine you will see that the leaf turn into blue color iodine leaves black blue color only with the starch it proves that the starch is present in the green leaves you can see that starch is present in uh, leaves so activity to show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis this is about pluck a leaf from a collar collars plants leaf having green and colored portion that green color leaf pluck a leaf which has been kept in the sunlight for a few hours keep that flower in the sunlight a few hours draw an accurate drawing of leaf showing the green and colored patches now bleach the leaves has you did the previous experiment just bleach it like this a uh, leaf of the boiling and leaf boiling in alcohol and test the leaves with the iodine and also this iodine what changes do you see in this experiment in this activity the drawn colors leaves leaf boiled first in the water and then in a alcohol leaf after boiling you can see in this color testing with iodine is in this color see the differences only this part of the leaf changes in color with which are green which are green in color has been changed and it shows that the presence of chlorophyll is necessary for chlorophyll is must and should is necessary for the photosynthesis activity 2 to, to show that sunlight is necessary needed for photosynthesis of course sunlight is needed for photosynthesis that is the leaf 
place a potted plant in shade of for 24 hours this is the potted plant in shade and its leaves and covered leaves are covered okay cover one of the its leaves with the black cover you can see that it has one leaf is covered with a black cover now keep this pot potted plant again in the sunlight keep it in the sunlight plug the covered leaf plug this covered leaf boil it first in water and then in alcohol first in water boil it first in water then boil it alcohol bleach it it has become bleached see here the leaf is bleached pour the leaves under water that is cold water and put drop of iodine in it put a drop of iodine in it the color of leaf will not change to black to blue as there is no starch in it see this this is the covered place you can see it has not been changed it's in same color but all this has been changed because you can see that the starch is there is no starch in it this shows that the process of photosynthesis takes place in sunlight this is a picture okay now non green plants what do you mean by this non green plants it's not there in green color the photosynthesis is not uh, available in this non green plants mushrooms and molds are non green plants they do not have chlorophyll they cannot make their food they get their food from the dead and decayed plants so you all have been seeing this mushrooms and mold and what do you mean by molds children i'll tell you mushroom is you can see it's grown in the dead particles dead uh, you can see um, in the decay particles kolthogirathu we'll tell that kolthogirathu that in that it will going to grow you can see this mushroom in the road side some uh, uh, some on the near the trees which is dust particles so it uh, occurs in that places you can see this uh, mushroom and molded molded means uh, uh, on you can see some on the food after four five days you can see on the food some breads biscuits that is called molds it's, it will be grown in some dust particles okay molded means nothing but it's boost you will tell that is called mold this is cactus plant cactus plants you all have been so seen no this is cactus plant this is croton croton plant so mushroom and molds are non green plant it will grow the it, it will take the help of the dead particles and it start growing one by one and more even molds also same thing it say take the help of the dust particles and decay particles it start growing they get their food from the dead and decay plant some plants like cactus do not have leaves this cactus do not have leaves the food is made their soft green stem this stem in this stem is going to prepare their own food there are some colored plant which have hidden green color this is called croton in this croton you can see the green color it's hidden in the side for example the croton plant has leaves which appear dark red it's in a dark red leaves croton plant is in the dark red leaves so the dark red colored substances hidden the green color of the chlorophyll this chlorophyll is hidden even the green color is mixed with this so thus the food is prepared the leaves of such plants by the usual process of photosynthesis interdependence of plants and animals both plants and animals are dependent on each other in various way for several see here this is the 
interdependence of plants and animals. Man and animals breathe O2. We'll go, we are going to breathe O2. O2 means what children? That is a oxygen released by the plant. This is the plant we are going to release. And men and animals release the carbon dioxide. We are going to release the carbon dioxide. The plants use carbon dioxide from human and animals and gives out oxygen O2. Animals take food from the plant and animals and humans release the carbon dioxide and plants release the oxygen. So like this we are going to breathe. So, as the green plants are the main food producer, so as the green plant is the main food producer, they also give out oxygen and takes in carbon dioxide. Animals breathe in this oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. We are going to, humans, animals going to release the carbon dioxide and will take the oxygen from the plants. The plants will absorb the carbon dioxide which is needed by plants for photosynthesis. Even our carbon dioxide is going to help the plants to uh, uh, need a, plants for photosynthesis and sunlight, air, water, this carbon dioxide, everything is helpful for to be, uh, uh, produce uh, photosynthesis. Similarly, animals help plants to grow at different places by eating the fruits and spitting out the seeds. So what animals do? Animals eat the fruits, leaves and some, uh, some nuts and it will going to, it won't split there itself, it's going to split wherever where they want. They will move from one place to another, they started eating that and then they are going to split that seeds. In this way, animals also help to uh, help the plants to grow uh, with the splitting of the seeds. This way, animals help new plants to come out. Balance in nature. A balance between the number of plants and animals is very important. In the balancing of animals and plants is very important in the Number of animals increase, the plant may not be able to supply enough food because all animals started eating plants and there will be a no plants. So because of that, if it is in the number of plants and animals in the very way is the very important, they should be balanced in, in the proper way. Number of animals increase, the plant may not be able to supply enough food and oxygen to all the animals. If there is an increase in the number of plants, the carbon dioxide supplied by the animals may not be enough for the plants. So, may not be enough for the plants. To maintain the balance in nature, we have to protect both animals and plants. We should not cut the trees and we should not kill the animals because of our purpose so that the balance will be, the natural balance will be protect both the plants and animals. Animals life, if life on earth has to go on, a balance in nature has to be maintained. So, it should be maintained, the, uh, the balance in nature has to be maintained. This is about the functions of different parts of the plant.